How are you feeling? Are you nice and cosy sitting watching YouTube waiting for a miracle to happen so you get up off your ass and do something? Or are you sitting and trying to intake new information so that you can understand more and be better? Better yet, what have you been doing before and what will you do after this video ends? Will you embrace and lean into the discomfort that your life has created or will you cower away from the discomfort and try to make yourself feel good? Your choice is crucially important and here's why. You make the most progress when you are feeling negative emotions. So make yourself uncomfortable and embrace the discomfort that life brings you. Let me tell you a story. At the time of recording this, it was only yesterday that I was fired from my job, on the 17th of December. It was a sales job and my numbers weren't good enough, so they let me go. And big unexpected twists like that can give you the energy to make the most progress towards your goals and purpose. As I am sure that every fellow man watching would agree that if you were let go from your job, you would have an underlying or even upfront sense of revenge that you want to take out, on top of the feeling that you get when you get fired and are unemployed with no income. Because for me, I was thinking about this for quite a while before I was fired. My plan was to leave my job whenever I was able to sustain myself through my online income, then work as hard and efficiently as humanly possible for several months on end, before buying a Bentley Continental and driving it to my old job, and buying the most expensive things in there. And it wasn't always a Bentley that I wanted. It's only what I've been wanting recently, and that may change until I actually do that. Sure, they may get some commission from my purchase, and they would consider selling to me as a good day. But every day would be good for me. They would make £200 on a good day, while I would make £200 in my sleep. And now that I have been fired, I have an even bigger drive to achieve that now. So to give them a big fuck you for firing me. And to say, even if I was no good at sales, I am astronomically better at other things. Of course getting to that point would feel incredible and very satisfying, but right now it is very uncomfortable. I don't even know what my near future will be like. I may have awful expenses that I need to take care of, which will put me under even more stress and discomfort, but the drive to get out of this discomfort and to prove myself to my old work colleagues is drive that I would not have if everything was fine and comfortable. The same kind of drive that I have for wanting to escape my everyday brokey struggles that I have to go through and wanting to prove myself to every single person from school or whoever that thought I was stupid and wouldn't achieve anything in life. The same kind of drive that you would have if you get broken up with or if your parents have doubted you for your entire life. You may think it's childish or immature to have that kind of mindset, trying to seek revenge and prove yourself to people. Sure that's fine, I can't stop you from roaming the world without feeling like you have to prove yourself. That will only make you feel like you don't need to do the work because no one will care about it anyway. You make your own actions pointless because you make no one care about them. But I know that for me and for most fellow men watching, we will seek revenge and feel like we need to prove ourselves. And that will only make us have an internal motivating drive that some men will never get. Because you're going to tell yourself or that certain person what you're going to achieve in an act of revenge. You would have set yourself such a big goal that some people can really not comprehend it. They may laugh and say whatever and then just leave you to it. But then in a year or two or three, you will have achieved it. And they will see you once again with all your success. And the only reason that you would have achieved that is because you said you would. And so you would be held accountable for your words. Because you would want to fail and then look even more stupid. So I'm not going to want to get fired and then be even worse off in life. I want to get fired and have an even better life after it. And all of that is very important because life is a game of energy exchange. You either spend it or gain it, or do things to gain even more of it. And it is even more important because with enough attention and time, anything can become a reality. And you can only give enough attention and time if you have enough energy in the first place. And you gain energy from being in uncomfortable situations, while actively wanting and getting out of them. In addition to internal motivating factors like proving yourself and seeking revenge. So how are you feeling? I'm sure that nice and cosy feeling isn't as comfortable anymore. So get uncomfortable and then see the results start coming in.